If you guys want to win a copy of the Ultimate Edition of FIFA 19 worth around $100, all you need to do is leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Do those three things, that'll enter you into the giveaway, and I'll be sending a copy to one of you guys when the game's released. Hey guys, it's Way here, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I think is the most overpowered feature on FIFA 19 in terms of gameplay. It's something I've been using very effectively on the demo, scoring loads of goals with, and I wanted to share it with you guys so you can try it out, get the hang of it, and use it when the full game is released. It will really help your game out and it will help you score a lot more goals on FIFA 19. So if you guys do enjoy the video, if you do, don't forget to leave a like on it. Leave a comment down below if you want to see any more tutorials on the channel. Also, if you guys are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. And without further ado, let's go on into it. So as many of you may know by now, crossing is very overpowered on FIFA 19. But this video isn't about crossing in general. There are in fact four different types of crosses on the game, all of which have their uses, but one in particular is especially overpowered. Now first off, we've obviously got the standard cross, X and Xbox, Square on PlayStation. Everyone knows this does normal aerial cross into the box. You've also got the Rabona cross. Now the actual cross itself looks exactly the same as the standard cross. However, you've got the flare aspect of doing a Rabona, and for this you hold the left trigger whilst pressing the cross button. We've also got lofted crosses where you hold the left bumper and the cross button and this actually allows you to miss out the keeper, loop it over to the back post and it works quite well if you're close to the goal and close to the goal line as well but you do need to have quite tall players to actually win those aerial duels and finally and most importantly we've got the driven finesse cross. That's what this video is all about and it is so so good on FIFA 19 for two main reasons Firstly crossing is obviously quite overpowered so it is going to work well on this game But also AI defending has been quite majorly nerfed from FIFA 19 or from FIFA 18 rather to FIFA 19 And this relies on actually crossing the ball into space rather than specifically to a player in general So it's the AI that's going to be picking up the person you're crossing to and it means it's just so so hard to defend against for your opponent They're going to be trying to mark the person crossing the ball the person who's about to put the ball into the box rather than the people at the back post and they're going to be the people who are going to be putting the ball into the back of the net for your team. Now to do this very simple cross you just press the right bumper and the cross button it is as simple as that and it allows you to do this driven finesse curled cross. It just whips the ball in across the ground with a lot of power and as you guys can see here it actually curls it away from the keeper so the keeper can't really do anything if they come for it they'll normally just overcommit and make the finish even simpler and it curls it away from the defenders as well. You're just playing it straight into the path of your unrushing forward and they just have to turn the ball into the net. Nine times out of ten, they will do so. It's such a simple finish. The keeper has no chance because they're normally at the near post. You'll be at the far post, and you just put it into the roof of the net. It is as simple as that. And this cross works especially well if you're out wide. You want to be on the edge of the penalty area, and it also works quite well if you're actually playing into the person who's uh, in the penalty area. If you're actually behind them, so you get the maximum amount of curl on the ball, and it plays it into the perfect space. The only real thing you need to do to make this easier is just go to your custom tactics and make sure that you've set the the number of players in the box on crosses to one of the two maximum settings that's going to make this work even better you also want to be using a formation with wingers I mean most people would probably do that because they're the most popular formations on the game the 4-3-3s the 4-3-2-1 maybe the 4-1-2-1-2 any formation that's got a left and right winger this works very well with because you want to have someone coming at the back post to score the goal you want to have people in the middle as well who could also score but also going to distract the defenders and obviously you want your winger to cross the ball into the box but it's just so so simple and it's so hard to defend defend against as well and in the early stages of the game no one really has good defenders so it makes it even easier if you have someone with good attacking positioning and pace they're virtually unstoppable because they just peel away from their man with that pace and that positioning and you've got someone running in out on, on the other wing who should have decent pace as well and they can just cross it in and you will get such simple finishes so definitely something to master on the demo and try out when the full game is released hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial let me know down below if you guys agree with this maybe there's something even more of power let me know down below also if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and this is actually the final video on which i'll be running my fifa 19 giveaway so if you guys aren't yet entered make sure you do so by liking commenting and subscribing and i'll be announcing the win in tomorrow's video so stay tuned for that I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I will catch you later. Take care.